Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are starting in a brand new room. I have been so excited to do this bathroom makeover for a long time. We have lots to do, so let's get started. Okay, here is the bathroom that we are working with. If you remember when I did the floors in the hallway makeover, I already started kind of pulling this up and discovered that it had this cement board underneath it. So we're gonna be doing new floors, definitely new sink and countertop. I'm still brainstorming about these cabinets. If we could somehow get some more storage or some better storage. We will get a new light, the mirror will have something, and probably some kind of accent wall. I don't know, we're just gonna be changing tons of stuff in here just to make it look much more updated. But the very first thing that I wanna get done in here is to get these floors pulled up. So in order to do that, we need to take off the baseboards and the door stopper so we can get the floors up. All right, the baseboards are kind of going behind the tile, so I left them there for now, but I took out the toe molding and because that was sitting on top of the tile. So now we can go in and start pulling up this tile. So I make sure that I have my eye protection and I'm wearing gloves because this stuff is sharp. And what I'm gonna do is I think pull up the tile first on top of the cement board because the cement board is screwed down. So if I can get the tile up and then I can hopefully go in and unscrew the cement board and it'll come up easier. So I did a lot of research trying to find some technique that would make this whole process suck less than actually having to chisel out the tiles, but they pretty much all were the same and tons of work short of renting a machine, which I didn't want to do for such a small area, but it wasn't too bad. If you guys have been with my channel for a long time, you'll remember when I pulled out some tile on the main floor, which is a concrete slab. Taking it off of this cement board was actually much easier than taking it off of the slab. So I guess that's a plus, but this is just messy and time consuming, but definitely needed to be done.
All right, I got two layers of the flooring up and just, I guess technically, two more layers to go, but this is the vinyl flooring and this is just like a little piece of plywood they put down. So what I'm doing is getting up all of the screws that the cement board was screwed down with. The only problem is they are filled with like grout. So I'm taking a nail punch and putting it in the screw and hitting that which clears it out and then I'm able to get these up which will make that plywood layer easier to pull up. All right, I think it's time to take the toilet out. I hadn't taken it out yet because I wasn't sure how long all of this was gonna take me and I needed my kids to still be able to use this bathroom. But in order to get this little plywood piece up, we're gonna go ahead and take the toilet out. We're replacing it anyway, so I wasn't too worried about damaging it or anything like that. So let's get this out. The first thing that I did was turn off the water to the toilet and then I am going to disconnect this hose that goes to the toilet because we won't be able to pull it away from the wall. Ask me how I know this. <laughs> and then I'm taking the top tank off because I didn't want to carry, wasn't sure if I could carry the toilet in one piece all the way down the stairs, but I dumped the water into the sink to get rid of it so it didn't spill everywhere. And then I was able to just undo the bottom bolts and lift it up. And then after that, the toilet was gone and I could pull up all of this plywood really easily. Okay, we've got a serious situation here. I'm just being dramatic because I don't feel like fixing this, but when I pulled up the subfloor, the little quarter inch, I found all of this water damage. And as I started hitting on it, it started breaking away. Now, I think I got like, that's most of the, pretty much all the soft spots now. It was definitely like the wax ring that went around there had failed. The toilet was leaking for who knows how long. So I got a board and I'm just going to cut out a strip right here and replace it. We'll reinforce it probably with some studs and then that will make it nice and strong for when we put in our new toilet. I purposely cut the hole halfway over these floor joists right here for some support, but we still need support on the side where the pieces of plywood are gonna meet. And so I had to add studs on the side. And also I needed some support for this plumbing in the middle so it didn't go anywhere. So I screwed those support pieces in and then I was able to add this plywood over the top. I didn't wanna have to redo any of the plumbing, so I just kind of cut a kind of channel coming from the side instead of having to take that plumbing off and then get a new one and replace it. And then I was able to put the extra piece that I had cut out back and screwed everything down and it should be nice and solid and ready to hold the weight of the toilet. Okay, so yesterday was a long day and honestly pretty gross but i'm thinking today is where we turn a corner in this room because the floor is all prepped we can start laying the flooring and hopefully 
put the toilet back. And I feel much better that I repaired this under the toilet so I don't have to worry about the wood being soft at all. And the first thing that we have to do before we lay the floors, I just have one more baseboard to remove right here and then we can get started. Okay, this project is just not going how I thought it was gonna go. I don't have enough flooring. I thought that I did, and of course I have to order it, but I'm like a few boards short. So I guess I'm just gonna lay the boards that I have, go ahead and get those taken care of. I ordered some more, but they won't be here for like five days. So that'll probably be next week's video that I'll be finishing that up, so. I guess I will just do what I can with what I have. So I'm starting off the flooring by cutting the piece that's going to go under the door jam and connect to the piece in the hallway. So I'm just cutting off the edges of that. I made marks where I needed that to go and then I should be able to slide it under the door jamb to connect to the other piece which will lead us into the bathroom. Okay, so this piece needs to go obviously right here, but then it needs to wrap around this corner. So I'm gonna get that measurement by like pushing it all the way where it's going to go. And then I put a mark right there. And then I will take a scrap piece. And so I'll click that into place. And then I will mark on it the edge of this and then transfer that over like I've done right there and then I will take a straight edge and mark those and then I'll cut this piece out right here. For this piece, it needs to go like this with this edge out. In order to get that measurement, I'm going to flip it around and put it where it needs to go and then I will mark it where it needs to be cut and that way when we cut this end off, it will be the right length. One of the reasons that I feel pretty comfortable about using this flooring in the bathroom is it is water resistant, but I am also using this um, moisture resistant underlayment just in case any water does get under the flooring. This will help to protect the subfloor because we do not want any more gross water damage that we have to take care of. About the situation like we're stuck inside again. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. As we write the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. 
It's time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh. Come run away. Don't be afraid. The flooring looks so much better. You can see like I'm only a couple boards short of being able to put the toilet back in. I did not get as much done in this video as I wanted to. And that's okay. Like I'm trying to tell myself, you don't have to meet your arbitrary deadlines. Like sometimes I do have deadlines if it's a sponsored video and I have to have things submitted by a certain time. But for this video, it was okay. We're all gonna make mistakes like not having enough flooring. And of course I can't just run to the store and get more. I had to order it. So, and also other unexpected things like the wood being soft, kind of rotten underneath the toilet, which I'm glad that I found. So it will get done eventually. And thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching my videos and all of your support. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you're subscribed because next week we should have the flooring in, be able to finish this up, and more projects here in this bathroom. I will see you guys then. Bye!